welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you are here today. I have another grocery haul for you. I realized that I just did a grocery haul. The last Thursday video that I uploaded, uploaded was a grocery haul, but that was exactly one month ago. I grocery shopped on May 24th and today is June 24th. So we have had um, softball and baseball games every single night of the week, church on the nights that we don't have games. We have just been crazy busy and so we have not had time to do any grocery shopping. Um, what was in my last haul is what the family has been living on for an entire month. So I have not bought any groceries in between that I can think of. I mean, I've literally tried to think, have I bought anything? I do not think so. The only thing extra I think we bought is food for our tournament and we did snack on that for a couple of days afterwards. But otherwise, it has been an entire month. Now, this was a huge haul because not only were we out of like all of our groceries, we were out of like toilet paper, paper towels. I'll show you all that. A lot of paper goods and we picked up several other things, um, some things for vacation and um, some mini blinds, not mini blinds, just blinds for our living room. That's actually what my husband's doing right now. So any background noise that you're hearing, he's putting up those blinds right now. So um, anyways, I will, you will have seen that in a weekly vlog. So if you would like to see those blinds, then jump over to weekly vlog number 24. I do believe it's going to be. And um, you'll check out the reveal on those blinds. So um, I will do prices up in the corner. So if you are interested in what any of this stuff costs, I will have my receipt and I will put prices in there. Um, and I guess I will show you a glimpse of at least the mini blinds. I keep calling them mini lines because that's what they were always when I was a kid was mini blinds, but they are horizontal blind, blinds. They're blinds. They're faux wood blinds. Anyways, um, so I'll at least show you what brand we got and the pricing of those as well. So now let's get to the haul. All right, so I'm just going to start with an overview. Let me change it to a wide angle. There we go. So this is everything on my table. This is like a, a portion of it. And then I have this stuff over here. And don't, sorry, don't mind the grocery bags. And then I have a portion over here. So we'll go item by item, but we're going to start over here on the table. Aiden is, Aiden is wandering around with me. So anyway, like I said, we are out of everything. So bear with me because I have a lot to get through here. I'm going to switch it back to regular angle. <laughs> okay. Um, we have three cereals. Um, Aiden picked out the cereal. And so we got one fruity one, one chocolate one, and then one healthy one. So um, our sweet Brooklyn is coming this weekend and these are her favorites. So we had to have those on hand and then who doesn't love fruity pebbles. And then these are also very good. And we like the um, honey almond one instead of just the um, honey oat. Um, and then we'll, we'll go straight from not so healthy to healthy, uh, cherries. We've been wanting cherries for a while. They're kind of expensive and they were actually a dollar less per pound. So we went ahead and got these, um, instead of three ninety seven per pound, they were two ninety seven per pound. So not terrible. Um, and excited to have some cherries and these actually look really good. A lot of the bags, they were pretty wrinkly and kind of on their last life, but I think these are still going to be great. Um, if you've seen my grocery hauls before, you know, these are a staple in our house. These bags of avocados, they are just so worth the price. I always get them extra hard because they ripen up pretty quickly. Um, and there's like five to seven in a bag, depending on weight probably and stuff like that. Um, uh, then I got a bell pepper. Actually, I got, um, all different colored bell peppers, um, and then I got an onion because you'll see in a minute, we're going to do brats this weekend and I love sauteed peppers and onions on my brats. Um, so that's what those specifically are for. And then I got a cucumber and some tomatoes because I'm going to do a cucumber tomato pasta salad with like Italian seasoning. You'll see the rest of the ingredients in a second. Um, but if I make a big batch of that this weekend, then I can take it for lunch every day this week. And that will be a nice, healthy, fresh, cool lunch for me this week. And Scotty doesn't love it. The kids, you know, they're so, so on it, but it'll be really good for me to have for lunch this week. And then strawberries, super staple in our house. We always have strawberries on hand. This is a two pound package of them. Um, and they look fairly decent. So we've got that. Um, now straight back to not so healthy. Um, but we got some goldfish. We got the Mickey Mouse ones this time. Um, Riley is babysitting my nephews on Monday. So that was a nice excuse to get those. But the kids like them anyways. Aiden said he doesn't like the Mickey Mouse ones very much. But we, I figured we'd give them a try. 
Um, and then fruit snacks, we all love fruit snacks. So figured I would um, stock up in these. We're almost out of them. So I just grabbed a, a good size pack of those. And then that's what happens when you take kids along. He asked for both of these things. So I aim to please. So we got Swiss rolls and Oreos. And when I grabbed these, he's like, not name brand Oreos. I'm like, they taste the same. And he said, not in milk. So anyway, we'll have to do a comparison some one of these days, but um, he wanted some cookies as well. And then these are for youth group. Um, we always have them on Sunday mornings and um, we were out. So I grabbed a pack of those. And then these are also for lunches for mine and Scotty. So I just grabbed two of each of the lemon pepper. I don't think we've had the great value kind, but we eat great value everything else and it's absolutely fine. So I gave these a try. They were less than a dollar a piece. Um, and then I got the sweet and spicy. And then these are $1 a piece. And this specific flavor is so delicious. And if you have this with avocado and Ritz crackers, oh, it is a good one avocado, a pack of that, and then maybe half a sleeve of Ritz crackers. It is a good lunch. Okay, so moving on up here, um, oatmeal. I take this in my lunch every day. I take two packs um, for breakfast every day, not my, well, I take it in my lunch, but for breakfast. Anyways, uh, so I've been out for a week, so I've been eating an orange every day, which has been nice, but I'm ready to get back to my oatmeal. So there's that. And then these are the, this is the pasta I'm gonna use to make my cucumber um, tomato pasta salad. And then this is the dressing that I'm gonna put on it. So um, that will be nice and tasty. Like I said, cool, refreshing, nice for this week. Um, sunflower seed kernels, we love these on our salads. So we were out, we picked up some of those. Uh, crunchy peanut butter, Scotty prefers. I think Riley does too. Do you like crunchy or creamy? I'll do either. Either? Okay. Aiden's a whatever. I'm a whatever. Sometimes I'm in the mood for crunchy. Usually it's creamy. So anyway, we were out of that. Um, and then we were also out of jelly. So we picked up some Welch's Concord grape, which is the best jelly. And then also some strawberry. Did you get sugar free? Oh, made with real sugar. Okay. No. And then we, of course, we need bread for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So this is Scotty's bread of choice. And then this is um, Riley's. And I don't know what Aiden likes to eat. This kind, I think. And then these will be for our brats. We've never had these before, but all of the buns were so, like, firm. And these were the only ones that actually felt soft. And they are top sliced buns. So they're cut here instead of on the side. So anyway, that'll be nice, perfect for brats. So excited to give those a try. Can't recommend that I haven't tried it yet, but okay. And then chips, we've got Tostitos scoops to go with the Tostitos uh, salsa that we've got over here. And then of course, Doritos are the chip of choice in this house. So we had to get two different kinds. We got regular nacho cheese and then spicy nacho. And then Fritos for um, Aiden wanted like um, Frito pie. So like chili cheese. So he said, I need to make a big pot of chili so he can have um, chili and Fritos and cheese. So, that sounds good. huh? So that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then we were almost out of sugar. So I grabbed some sugar, um, grabbed some tea bags. These are the best tea bags. Every time people come to my house, they love my sweet tea. They're like, how is your tea so good? you buy the cheap tea bags. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so I don't make it any different, I feel like, than anybody else, but these, this is probably the difference. They're $1 for 100 bags. It's insanity and they're so good. So that's my tea of choice. Um, got some granola, Scotty likes granola and yogurt. So I'll skip ahead and we've got two packs of yogurt as well. Um, we have not tried this great value, but again, lots of great value stuff and it's already great and a great value so we decided to go ahead and give their yogurt or granola brand a try and then i don't even know why scotty and the kids were talking about okra the other day but he said ask them if they had ever tried pickled okra and neither one of them had and so um, i just happened to be on that aisle i don't even remember what i was looking for and saw these and i was like oh i'm gonna grab them so grab some pickled okra and then um, two of each of these, so corn, chili beans, green beans, and sliced beets, pickled beets. I love these. No one else in my house does, but we've been out for a long time and I've actually been really sad. So I'm glad to have those back. So two of each of those cans, um, I've already showed you that. And then honey, we were out of honey. 
So I grabbed a big one to just refill my sweet little honey bear that I keep on the counter. So we've got that. And then some peppered gravy. Um, I ended up having having to make gravy from scratch the other day for Father's Day because we were out of gravy mix. So I've never tried this brand, but they were sold out of the great value that I normally get. So I went ahead and just grabbed these. Um, and then eggs, we were almost out of eggs. We are out of chili powder, so I grabbed this. And then kind of onto the non-food items over here. So um, I paint faces quite often um, for events and we have a um, Freedom Fest coming up for the 4th of July at our local school. All the area churches are putting it on and we're gonna paint faces. So I just grabbed this that's primary colors. I actually grabbed two more the last time we were there and they still had them on clearance. So I went ahead and grabbed one more because these are the colors that go the fastest. So never is gonna hurt to have them on hand. So have those. And then um, Scotty was out of deodorant. So we grabbed that. And then for Father's Day, again, we got him some fishing tackle and stuff. So we just browsed through that aisle just to see if there was anything that he would like to add to his collection. And he saw these and thought they would be great for cutting string. Um, it's got these little ridges on here for who knows what else. But anyways, he thought they were, were pretty cool and they will be small and easy to keep in his tackle box. So here's that. Um, and then we picked up a couple of these for the kids. Um, we got ourselves some uh, last week and um, haven't got to use them yet, but then we saw these and they were quite a bit cheaper. So we figured we would try these out for the kids to use when we go kayaking. Um, it'll be just really good for them to put their phones in. Um, I was out of foil, so I got it. Of course, you have to get the heavy duty kind, not just the everyday kind because you will be very sad because it will rip like crazy and this is very durable. And then lastly over here is sandwich bags. We were out of sandwich bags. Um, then since it's the next in line, I'm just gonna start right here. I needed a new pillow. I like a really flat, soft pillow. So um, this is the cheapest one they offer. It's three bucks, but it's gonna last me a whole nother year. And I just picked that up. And then we were out of paper plates. So that will last us a good long time. We will um, not have to restock those for quite some time. We were out of toilet paper down to our last roll, literally, so um, we had to pick up some of those. Um, paper towels, I think we maybe have one roll left of, but they don't go bad, so it never hurts to um, have some on hand. And then these items here, we got a queen and a twin air mattress um, because we're going on vacation at the end of July, and our queen air mattress is like from the top of the trash can probably as tall as this box or taller it's definitely taller it's, oh, it's so really tall. yeah it's, it's like as tall as this pillow okay as it's, tall as the pillow yes yeah that's probably accurate it's very tall and so when we put it in our tent it's just too much and so um we picked up a queen for scotty and i and then we have two twin mattresses, but one of them does not stay aired up. So we went ahead and just picked up a second one. Um, and for the price, it was worth it to have on hand just for all the future things we do. And then I went ahead and brought the boxes over here of the blinds that we got. Window blinds, not mini blinds. Um, but we had to get two 34 inch and two 35 inch because our windows are slightly smaller on one side of our house than on the front of the house. So anyways, we grabbed those. Um, so the price for the 24 inch I'll show here and the price for the 25 inch I'll show here because they were different prices. So um, anyways, that's the brand we got, Better Homes and Garden, and that's what they look like. And they are very, very nice. I'll go ahead and show you. Um, he's still in the process. He stopped doing it so I could film, but um, this is what they look like up. They're very nice. So if you're in the market for blinds, I mean, so far I can recommend them, but they've been up for literally 20 minutes. Okay, moving on to all the cold stuff. Oh my word, there's still so much to go. All right, so the corn over here, I should have put it on the table but with the rest of the produce, but there just wasn't enough room over there. Um, but there's 10 ears of corn here, and we're going to have them with when we have our brats. Um, but we roast them on the grill, and then we make like this um, chili lime mayo stuff that you put on it. It's like Mexican street corn, and it is incredible it is so delicious um i will try to link the recipe if i find it um it may be in a weekly vlog so um anyways it's so delicious and it's fresh corn so anyway 10 years of that for this weekend 
two gallons of milk. I tell this every time, but we get the Highland milk because the Prairie Farm stuff just goes bad way too fast. So two gallons of milk here. Um, we were out of all of our kinds of butter. So we got Country Crock Original and then just this great value um, salted butter. And then some cottage cheese sounded really good to have with my lunches. So I will have that cottage cheese. I think Aiden likes cottage cheese too. So, um, and then sour cream, we have been out of sour cream forever. So it's good to have that back on hand. And then we picked up some of these pork tenderloins. Um, we have never eaten this brand, but, um, <laughs> there were so many different flavors and we couldn't decide on one. So we grabbed one that neither one of us was like our first choice just to give it a try. I know that sounds really odd to do it that way, but, um, I wanted the garlic and herb and Scotty wanted the like, um, what was the one you wanted to try? Mesquite, mesquite smoked. And so um, we settled for garlic mustard. So I think it's gonna be delicious. And um, for the price, this is actually a lot cheaper. So um, we will give that a try. And I think there's usually two pork tenderloins in there, but they're pre-cooked, pre-marinated, not pre-cooked, it's raw meat. Um, and then this uh, skinless smoked sausage, we love this. I like just slicing it up and putting barbecue sauce on it and baking it in the oven or slicing it up and frying it with potatoes and onions and just kind of making like a hash with it. It's really, really good. So two of those to keep on hand because they're quick and easy meals for sure. And then here's our brats. Um, we enjoy the beer brats and the cheddar brats. So we will certainly enjoy that this weekend. And then again, with the kids being home for summer and Scotty is still working from home, we needed some quick lunch options. So we got some more Hot Pockets, some pepperoni pizza and ham and cheese, um, lunch meat. Um, again, we've never tried the great value lunch meat, so I figured I would give it a whirl. Um, but I got that in Turkey and then I got the Black Forest ham of the Lando Frost, which we actually very much enjoy that um, lunch meat. So those are both um, for sandwiches. And then bacon, just cause we were out of bacon. I usually get the applewood smoked, but they didn't have it, so we went with this. And I like the thinner slice than, than the thicker slice. Um, and then some more waffles. They fly through these. Um, everybody loves waffle, toaster waffles. Um, chimichangas. Again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't know how they're not sick of these, but they still love these things with a slice of cheese and some Tabasco sauce on them. They love them. So had to stock back up on those. Um, Aiden requested these, some beef taquitos, so we had to grab a pack of those. That'll be one lunch for them. It'll, it'll be a quick, easy lunch. Um, some garlic toast, because in my last grocery haul, I got stuff for spaghetti, and I never made spaghetti. Um, so I will be making spaghetti for dinner one night this week, and I wanted some garlic toast to go with that. Um, and then we were just out of breakfast sausage. And I went ahead and picked up this Italian sausage for... Um, I make this tortellini soup and I usually will just use breakfast sausage in it, but I saw the Italian, um, which will obviously be way better with tortellini. So pick that up for next time I make that soup and then, um, grab some of these pizzas. Last time I got the Red Baron, um, French bread pizzas and they were delicious, but these you get four and they were only like three thirty three. They were super cheap. So, um, just grabbed two different kinds of those pepperoni and three meat. And then lastly, we have um, a big old two pound block of cheese. I pre-shed my cheese. I don't like pre-shredded cheese unless I'm going to use it like that day because I feel like it goes, it just gets soggy and weird. Um, and then um, some American singles. So that is it. Thank goodness because that's enough. So there's that, that, and all of that. All right, guys that is it. <laughs> um, and that is enough. That is, it is so many groceries, but we legitimately have not been to the grocery store in an entire month. And we eat a lot. We eat out a lot and we have eaten out a lot in the last month because of ball games and we're already in town and all of that. So it's going to be really good to have groceries and be home to eat at home. And you know, this was quite a bit of money. Um, all told with all of it, the blinds were a huge expense. Um, they were nearly $200 of it, but this whole grocery haul was, um, just over $500. So, um, again, I'll have prices up in the corners so you can kind of add it all up on your own. But, um, of course we normally don't spend this much. My normal grocery budget is about $300 a month. Um, and I like to actually 
be a lot less than that um, because we cook a lot of things from scratch and we don't always do these prepackaged foods but again because they're all home right now it's just easier to do those so they have quick easy, easy lunches but when times get back to normal scotty's back at work the kids are back in school um we will have our grocery budget will like do de diminish greatly but right now we have to spend a little more gro on groceries i'm sure you guys are all feeling us right now on that because a lot of people are still at home but Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging with me through this entire grocery haul. I know it was a lot, um, but I hope it has given you some different meal ideas, some different brand ideas, just, you know, I don't know, giving you some inspiration for um, things that you can have on hand for your family or um, just something you never tried that you might be interested in trying. So uh, leave me a comment below, something that is a staple in your house that you always get. Or do we line up? Do I get some of the same things that you guys get? I'm always interested in know. I love watching grocery hauls. That's why I film grocery hauls. If you like grocery hauls, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Leave that comment down below. And if you have not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future content. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.